Anyway, a little uh, news on who else? Britney Spears. <laughs> You know, she's like, that That whole news thing about Britney Spears is like a cottage industry. I bet if they started on DirecTV or Comcast or any of the cable providers, the Britney Spears channel, I guarantee you it would get like baffle ratings and they probably could fill it with 24 hours of programming. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Britney's kids, tomorrow at 9. <laughs> Unbelievable. But even though she's, you know, had all these issues and things like that, she still had time to agree to host Scandinavian style mansion gala in Beverly Hills at a private home. And it's kind of a gathering of all the fashion houses, the big famous European fashion houses. And it's happening on February 16th. So I'm guessing Beverly Hills is going to be crawling with paparazzi even more than usual. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting. And did you hear about the paparazzi actually? They're starting to give them traffic tickets. <laughs> well, you know, when you take a picture and it's worth, uh, you know, upwards of six figures or seven figures, you know, for certain celebrities, I'm guessing traffic tickets, 50, 60 bucks ain't going to be a big deal. But um, on a light, on a less lighter note, on a lighter note, it is kind of morbid. Uh, it's been reported that the Associated Press is preparing Britney Spears obituary already. I think that's a little dark. I think she just, you know, she's having a spell. She's going through a time, but, you know, we still love her music. Speaking of which, here is Britney back when what she wore was more controversial than what she did. I'm a slave for you on Fusion Radio Chicago. Dave Tripper.